Okay, meeting come to order. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> that leaked, leaking, Gary? Yep, it leaked. <laughs> I wonder if that's the only spot. I've got those two spots there. I mean, in here, is there any? I don't think there. I don't know. I'll, figure it out. I'll check it out tomorrow. I haven't noticed any before, but I'll put it up tomorrow. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second it. Do you have something you want to talk about or anything? I doubt you guys are going to listen to anything I say. The way you've been acting has been ridiculous, and I guess we'll handle it the way you guys want to handle it. Okay. Um, is there any chance you're going to accept the envelopes from me for... We're still working on that with open records, with the solicitor and open records. I mean the envelopes for being notification under the other law. We're working on that with the open records and okay, the solicitor. Why I asked again is because it wasn't an open records kind of law, I don't believe. I believe it's a different law. That's why I thought maybe you were talking about the appeal. Um, but the the appeal so, I'm separate. still going on what the solicitor is telling me to tell you, that it's, it's a statute that we have to advertise. So until open records says something different, then we will go with that. The, okay. They don't have anything to do with that part of it. Tax collector report. Um, we were supposed to have visitors, but they didn't show didn't up. Show up. Um, okay. They brought uh, Chris Palmer's property down on 14, and they're doing something, and they were going to tell us what they were going to do. Um, tax collector report $1,303.95. This is down in the Rover? Yes. Been for sale for about two or three years. Yeah, Lucky sold it. Yeah. <clears throat> Lucky sold it. Okay. Yeah. So for Caldwell, for the loan paperwork, um, everything should be filed and on track to start for repayment soon. The okay. timing is going to be different than what it was, but the um, amount should be the same. Okay. And I got the money markets closed at Citizens of Northern and deposited into First Citizen. Funds are still at Shimon Canal because I ran out of time. Um, but I will transfer that money this week or this month. I guess put that into the First Citizens General Fund? Yep. Well, $109 is going to go into impact fund. Oh, okay. Because that's the CARES money. All right. <clears throat> Okay, Kale, you got anything to report? Um, Beach Flats has been chipped, turn chipped from what the gas company. That's all done. They did that last Wednesday, Tuesday. Last Tuesday they did that. Who did that? Um, Vestal did it. Vestal? Yep. For Chesapeake. For Chesapeake. Okay. Yep. So that's done. Um, they get the full width, did they? Yep. They did it all in one shot. So. The only thing I noticed was a lot of extra stone at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's. It's pretty common, I mean, pretty common, but, um, yeah, I guess just still waiting on when they pinned up. I don't know when they're going to do it. When they show up. Last time I talked, they said, I'll let you know when they come. Yeah. And maybe says, maybe not this year. I so know, I don't know. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's not this year at this point, but. They're in the county. Somewhere. Gotcha. At that time. Yeah. Um, I called again on that Christ Lane and talked to Terry and. It's on the way, so okay. that'll be here for the brand crisis. So, um, other than that, just gonna start cleaning some ditches and stuff until the roads cool down. We got a lot of burns cut on blacktop roads, but it's too hot still to do that. So, doing that pretty well maintenance, and I guess we'll see what tomorrow brings. See what needs to be done, but <laughs> <laughs> ditches. Yeah, we've got ditches, a few ditches down Parsons Road really need to be cleaned. And... Yep. So, See, it looks like they took the new truck in today or moved it. Yeah, they just put it in today, I think. So it must be 
There's still no box. I mean, box box yeah. for it, but they have a lot of electrical and a lot of plumbing to do on it before that ever comes. So the box is about the last thing to go on, mm-hmm. really. So I don't know if the hydraulic system's there or not. But other than that, I guess everything's in working order. So we didn't get disc brakes for that? No, that came with drums on it. Drums. Yeah. Just can't get disc. Apparently, I guess, is what the salesman said. And, they, and he didn't know it until it came, and I don't know, but it's got drums on it, so. Is that, is that good or bad? Or? Well, yeah. one disc. He wanted discs. But, no. Discs are a lot easier to service. Yeah. Some people love them, and other people hate them, so it's, a, it's the same as, I don't know, but it's what it's got on it, so that's, I don't think it's worth it. Same that you have on your truck, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was apparently ordered with the disc, but it didn't come with it, so. Your size drum? Yes. So I don't know, contract-wise, what that looks like for money-wise, what the price difference is, but I would assume there should oh, be. I'm sure there would be. There should be a difference somewhere yeah. there. I don't know if it's it probably paid for what's on it. This is my guess. Yeah. No. So I don't know exactly how that, but I guess that's something to, for Watson's when it comes down to look at it or what but so other than that I can't think of anything else we have to up man okay okay old business um I just put it under old business because it's still dealing with the fire um clean up <laughs> um Kale took um, his truck down to get red um inspected trailer was um with it and they were going to um inspect the trailer but they didn't have the registration because it was in the bubble i don't think we've had a registration since the fire to be honest with you <laughs> so well they don't go out but i mean yeah. it's municipal yeah, so it doesn't go out so it doesn't and renew apparently and that slipped through our the cracks so paperwork's we'll new registration for the trailer paperwork's been submitted so because okay. you couldn't go online even with the plate and the title number um, so I double checked the Dottie today. Everything's been submitted, so something should be coming back soon. Okay. So once it gets back, then you can get it officially mm-hmm. inspected. And we got the full refund from Selective Insurance. So it's good there. It's for new business. I don't know if you guys have anything to bring up to discuss or anything. Mm-hmm. Dr. County sent us a letter about the um, dirt and gravel road project. Um, Bob put Barnes Hill back in um, and it was ranked number 11. So it doesn't, but it doesn't look like we're going to get funding for it this year. That's only one. <clears throat> and any others is there could be put in? Um, there's a couple other small sections, but we were hoping we could take a big chunk of that. And, but unfortunately, a lot of these other townships don't take as good care of their roads, so they get ranked higher. So they'll take an old back road that's falling apart, and that'll get obviously ranked higher than yeah. what our roads will. Our roads are, are too good for are generally in pretty <laughs> decent condition, and they don't rank as high as damage wise. So but we don't have anything that's probably going to rank any higher than that at this point. So worth a shot, I guess. And area agency on aging has requested a donation. 44 residents within the township have used some of their services. They want money. We never did before, did we? Mm-hmm. <coughs> well, what, oh, the talking? Is any I'm sorry? Any special amount of talking? Mm-hmm. I don't mean, I guess, I mean, I mean, last year's budget's negative because of repaying the loan right. and having all of that. How many of those that <clears throat> used those 44 people paid any taxes? I mean, a lot of them probably are like senior lived, citizens. Senior citizens that live either up there where you work or not that that should matter. I mean, the, the commissioners didn't care about the 
patients over at the manor. Let's stop to worry, Christ. And she took a, had to take a cut in pay, and her insurance is nowhere near what it was before. And well, Harvard resol- I retired Did he? to keep his benefits. It's something that we can look at at budget time, but yeah. with the repaying of the loan. I mean, yeah. And the roller and whatever other pieces of equipment. Yeah, Who knows what's going to happen with the pool next year? But I did send donations to Kara yeah. and Green Tree. Mary Campbell is on vacation, so that's why you didn't get a thank you yet. Because um, we can't find anybody this year. Who knows if they're going to find anybody next year? I doubt it'll get any better. Well, Brock Kitchen volunteered. What's that? Brock Kitchen said he's <coughs> taking care of the pool. Yeah. He probably do a good job, too. He's got some good ideas on how to get you know, lifeguards. Cost what, 150 or 200 dollars to train him for the lifeguard to go for training, and he wanted to know if he could get sponsored to pay that so that the. I paid for my own training when I did that. Well, apparently they don't do it anymore. Where did you get your training, up at Troy or? I went to Tawanda. Tawanda. But that was. Do they a, still? A few do? years ago. Well, that's why I was. Uh, a few years ago. I know. Tori had done <laughs> training and they school. stopped. Yeah. And I, Tawanda stopped doing training, right? I'm not sure. I don't know. I did it, I did it in work. 1993. Yeah. Ooh. 92, 93. Wow. That was before most of us were born. <laughs> Just a couple years. Right, Michelle? Yes. Somebody's yeah. talking about opening up training in the area, so it may be easier for kids to get training in the future if they do that. The American Red Cross, they had all that information, and Jake Schaefer helped me with the. Help you know, another thing that you got to realize too, there's not the kids there used to be. No, I mean, the, most of the kids that worked in the pool were from a low income across and the street. There's quite a few. That, and look at how many people were in the camp. pools in a borough. Yeah. Yeah. Home, yeah, private pools have accidentally grown. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got a pool now, or they know somebody's got a pool. Look at the classes that graduate. You used to graduate 100 a class, now they're down to 60. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to be end up getting bulldozed in. Well, the sad part is if they don't take care of it, if that's your only option for a couple of years, so you got to take care of it, and that's a Great. ton of money for nothing. Well, what was it they said? You're never going to no no borough ever makes money on a swimming pool. No, they do it for the kids. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, I did. How's the taxes coming in? Um, now I probably won't get a whole lot now until after I send Mel second Mel just sits and that's the first week of November. And then I'll get more, but like I just got one that somebody had purchased a property, but that'll be in August, so. You're done with dust control, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll start mulling again pretty soon. What's that? We'll start mulling again. Okay. He just asked, Mr. Griffin just asked about his driveway, so. Who? Oh. Um, oh. Just asked about his driveway. Well, that's pavement. Not, all, not at the top. Oh. No, I not, see. Not up by the house. The other day we went over to Chris Moore's and we went up by Charlie Castle's and See, the Landis boys, they, they, that, they sprayed that with tar, this dirt driveway. I don't know it's how long it will get all up. the bills off of the well, Chris and no. Chris are buddies no. anyway. So. I lost how much the um, oil was, but I found it again. Mm-hmm. I actually followed that. Anything else? Nope. Okay. All right. It'll work now because you're looking at it. Yeah. Well, the next one I get, this is quick, I'm getting electric. Meeting adjourned. Back at one of these digital electric ones that has a battery that runs off. Have a good night. Thank you. You're welcome. You'll need a six foot cord. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the first cord is pretty long. I was surprised. So I think it's a great spot.